तो फोर पॉइंट थ्री का इंट्रोडक्शन करने के बाद इसकी एक्सरसाइज हम स्टार्ट करने जा रहे हैं ठीक है मेरे हाथ में एक्सरसाइज शीट फोर पॉइंट थ्री है ठीक है क्वेश्चन नंबर वन का स्टेटमेंट मैं पढ़ रहा हूँ ठीक है फाइंड एरिया ऑफ द ट्राइंगल विद द वर्टिस एट द पॉइंट गिवन इन ईच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ठीक है ये स्टेटमेंट है क्वेश्चन का इसके तीन पार्ट है ठीक है दो पार्ट मैंने पहले बोर्ड पे लिख दिए हैं इनका सोल्यूशन कर लेंगे हम ये असल में तीन वर्टिस है पार्ट नंबर वन में किसी भी ट्राइंगल के और हमने जो है ना एरिया निकालना है उस ट्राइंगल का जिसके वो वर्टिस रहेंगे एंड यहाँ पे भी वैसे ही करना है हमने फार्मूला तो इसकी पढ़ ली है हाउ टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ हाउ टू फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ द ट्राइंगल जॉइनिंग थ्री नॉन और कोलिनियर पॉइंट्स और हम दे आर नॉन कोलिनियर यू कैन जस्ट सी यूजिंग डिटर्मेंट्स वी विल यूज दैट ठीक है सो लेट्स कम टू द सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस पार्ट नंबर वन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन आप ऐसे लिखोगे यू नो टू रिमेंबर दैट फॉर्मूला वी नो दैट वी नो दैट नॉट ओनली वी नो और वी कैसे वी नो एरिया ऑफ इतना एंगल formed by joining x1 y1 x2 y2 and x3 y3 is given by now you know that formula that is 1 upon 2 okay x1 y1 1 x2 y2 and then is 1 x3 y3 and then it is 1 okay now if you just see x1 y1 here x1 here is 1 and y1 is 0 x2 is 6 y2 is 0 x3 is 6 and y3 is 3 simplifies uh, on comparing you can say on comparing coordinates we have uh determine this uh, area equal to 1 upon 2 on comparing the coordinates that's i am saying on comparing this with this and similarly so you can write 1 0 1 and then 6 0 and 1 and then 6 3 and 1 now you are supposed to you know evaluate this determinant and now humne uh, determinant evaluate jab humne kiye the to humne ek short note likha tha ki hum us wale row ya us wale column se uh, determinant ko expand karenge jisme maximum number of zeros ho lekin yahan pe aap dekhoge column number second mein do zeros hai so uh, we will expand this determinant along uh, कॉलम सेकंड ठीक है तो यहां पे लिख रहा हूं मैं एक्सपैंडिंग लॉन्ग सी टू ठीक है सो व्हाट यू विल गेट इज वन अपॉइंट टू एज इट इज 
Now it is uh, zero times uh, that we will not write. Zero times we will not write. Three times, but it will be negative three. Okay, this will be negative three. You know why? Uh, because uh, you know you are supposed to write uh, um, minus one key power the address of this entry that is uh, if you can just uh, go for a general determinant this entry is then a32 a32 that means you are supposed to write 3 plus 2 times 3 and then uh, when you take this entry you will just omit this and omit this you are left with uh, 1 6 1 and 1 that's it Okay, so it is negative 3 upon 2, you can just see it, okay, and uh, this is 1, okay, minus 6, so you are left with negative 3 upon 2, and this is negative 5, so in, it is 15, on two square units okay because this is the area okay so it is uh, 15 upon two square units so let's move to the part number second of this okay Question number first, and it's part number second of this. Now you are given this. You now I will uh, now directly write area of the triangle. Triangle joining. Two comma seven, one comma one, and ten comma eight is given by. A one upon two. And then the determinant starts. So the first row will be 2, 7, 1, and this will be 1, 1, and 1. And the third row will be 10, 8, and 1. Now uh, you are supposed to expand. So, uh, operations will be then expand it. I will expand it along uh, uh, row first. Or you can just apply uh, operations as well. I will apply the operations. Let's apply. Apply C2 minus C1 in C2. Okay and C3 minus C1 in C3 we have now when you will apply this operation what you will get is the determinant is 1 upon 2 firstly look at this C2 minus C1 C2 minus C1 that is uh, that you, you, are, you can see that uh, column number first remains unaffected. Uh, you can write 2, 1, 10 as it is now. C2 minus C1, that is, first entry will come out to be 5. 1 minus 1, that is 0. 8 minus 10, that is negative 2. Now, C3 minus C1, it is negative 1 here, okay? It is uh, 0 here and uh, 
it is negative 9 here. Okay, now you can see row number second has maximum number of zeros. So expanding along R2. Expanding along R2 we have. What you will get? 1 upon 2 as it is. Now this uh, quantity, but it will be negative 1, uh, you know it y. I will not write it this time. 5, negative 1, negative 2, and negative 9. So this is it. Now, uh, we, when we take uh, this entry, start with this, that means this row and this column will get omitted. You are left with 5 minus 1, minus 2 and minus 9. That is this. Now you can just solve it. It's 1 upon 2. Or I should write negative 1 upon 2 with this minus. And then it is uh, how much? It is minus 45. And then it is uh, negative 2. Okay, so you will you see it's negative 1 upon 2, okay, and uh, this will become how much? Uh, uh, this will be negative 47, so your result is 47 upon 2 square units. So this is the area of the triangle in part second. Now let's move to the part third of this question one the part third of this is Question is first and it is third part. Okay, the third part is uh, you are given negative two, negative three, then it is three and two, and the last is negative one and negative eight. So this is third part of this question. Take. Care. Solution. Now we'll write area of a triangle joining this negative two, negative three, three comma two, and negative 1, negative 8 is given by one upon two and the determinant negative two, negative three and one, three, two and one negative 1, negative 8 and 1, okay. Now you can uh, apply the operations or you can just uh, directly evaluate this, okay. Jab, uh, operations seek le to lagai le te, okay. Apply R2 minus R1 in R2 and uh, r1 minus r3 in r3 okay we have now what are we going to get is uh, a operation you will get determinant 1 upon 2 so row number first is unaffected because if there is any row that is affected, that's R2 and R3. So we will 
اس کو آف ڈریکٹ لکھ دو ناو آر ٹو مائنس آر ون آر ٹو مائنس مائنس دیٹ ول بکم پلس سو دس انٹری ول بکم فائیو ٹو مائنس مائنس دیٹ ول بکم فائیو اگین اینڈ دین دس ول بکم زیرو اوکے آر ون مائنس آر تھری دیٹ از مائنس ٹو مائنس مائنس دیٹ ول بکم مائنس ون اینڈ آر ون مائنس تھری دس ول بکم پازیٹیو سو اٹ از فائیو ایئر اوکے اینڈ ون مائنس ون دیٹ از زیرو اوکے ناؤ اگین یوز دیٹ نوٹ دیٹ ویل ایکسپین دس ڈٹرمنٹ الانگ دیٹ رو اور کالم which has maximum number of zeros and here the maximum number of zeros are in column number third so we'll write expanding along C3 we have we have value of the determinant is 1 upon 2 and then uh, no need to write this thing no? we will get now uh, we will just write this but it will come out to be a negative 1 no not negative it will be positive 1 times I'll take this entry, this is omitted, this is omitted, you are left with this. So you are left with 5, 5, 5, and negative. So this is, so this will imply that the value of the determinant is 1 upon 2. You can just solve it, it is 25 plus 5. Okay. That is... 30 upon 2 which is equal to 15 square units so here the area of the triangle is 15 square units so this was the part number third of part number third of question first I'll move to the question number second Okay, let's move to the question second of exercise 4.3. Question second is, show that uh, the point, show that points A, B and C and uh, the coordinates are A comma B plus C b comma c plus a c comma a plus b are collinear right we are supposed to show that they lie on a straight line that means we are supposed to show the area of the triangle a b c is zero that's it if we are uh, able to show that area of the triangle is zero um, area of the triangle a b c is zero then uh, we have done we are done that uh, uh, this these three points are collinear Right. <coughs> I will write the coordinates of on the points. It is uh, A, B plus C, B, B comma A plus C, and uh, the last one is C, A plus B. Okay. We are supposed to show these three points are collinear. Uh, now, solution to show points A, B, and C are. collinear 
What do we need to show? We need to show. area of triangle joining area of the triangle formed by joining points A, B and C is 0. Okay. Now, in three points, we have to show the area of the triangle ka joining A, B, C वो क्या आएगा जीरो आएगा ठीक है वो शो करना है हमें अगर हम वो शो कर पाए कि इसका एरिया जीरो आ रहा है तो आ, सीधी सी बात है कि दीज थ्री पॉइंट्स आर कोलिनियर राइट नाउ वी नो एरिया ऑफ triangle joining A B and C is that that is one half of the determinant is A B plus C and then you have B then you have C this is A plus C and this is A plus B and the last column you know it's one one and one if we are able to show this thing is equal to zero then uh, these three points will be proved they are collinear right Apply R2 plus R, not R2, will apply C1 plus C2 in C1. So when we we'll apply this, see what we will get is, it is one half of, you will get A, B, C like this and then you have this okay now you can see uh, this quantity is common in column one All right Take out A plus B plus C from C1. We have determinant equal one half of, when we'll take this A plus B plus C out, we'll get one half of. A plus B plus C, okay, uh, then the determinant 1, 1, and 1, and this is uh, A plus, not A plus C, uh, rather it is B plus C, and uh, this is uh, A plus C, and this is A plus B, and the last one is 1, 1, 1. Okay, now when this is the result, when you just take out A plus B plus C common from column first, 
you will get this. Now you know the result, if two rows or two columns are identical in a determinant, then the value of determinant comes out to be zero. So the value of this thing is zero. And that is uh, when these two uh, columns are equal, they are identical, the value of this thing is zero. Zero multiplied by this thing is zero, that's it. This shows A, B, and C are collinear. Okay, so this is question number two. Let's move to the question number third of this. Question number third, find uh, values of k if area of the triangle is 4 square units and vertices are, okay? Now, the area of the triangle is 4 square units and the coordinate of the triangle is unknown, hai, k, we have to find out, karne, okay? ये आसान सा काम है क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री पे आ जाओ आप क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री इसके एक दो पार्ट है पहला पार्ट लिख रहा हूँ मैं यहाँ पे द फर्स्ट पार्ट विल बी के जीरो ओके फोर जीरो एंड जीरो टू ठीक है ये है क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री का पहला पार्ट हमने क्या करना है कि के का वैल्यू निकालना है लेकिन ये वही से बोल रहा है कि जो एरिया होगा जब आप एरिया फाइंड आउट करोगे उस ट्रायंगल का जो इन तीन पॉइंट्स को जॉइन करके बना है उसका एरिया जो है ना फोर स्क्वायर यूनिट्स है ठीक है तो हम वो चीज़ यूज़ करेंगे ठीक है इसका सोल्यूशन लिखेंगे We know area of triangle joining K comma zero, four comma zero, and Zero comma two is given. We know area of the triangle. You can just write forward, forward by joining. by joining this, this, and this is given by. One half of the determinant is k zero, and then this is one. You have four zero one, and then you have zero two one. Okay, which implies one half of this k zero one. 4, 0, and 1, and 0, 2, 1 is equal to 4. Now, why it is 4? It is given in question. Okay? Now, you can shift this to there, so you will get uh, implies determinant k, 0, 1, 
فور زیرو اینڈ ون زیرو ٹو اینڈ ون اینڈ یو ول ملٹیپلائی دس ٹو دیٹ یو ول گیٹ ایٹ ہیئر ٹو انٹو فور دیٹ از ایٹ ناؤ ایکسپینڈنگ along you know it now c2 we have now ye entry aayegi negative aayegi lekin negative 2 and then this thing is omitted this thing is omitted you are left with k 4 1 and 1 that is equal to 8 Or you can write k minus four equal to minus four. We are we have divided by uh, two and multiplied both sides by so negative sign. This thing became negative. So implies k is equal to this four will be shifted four minus four that is. Zero implies k is zero. So this was this is a value of k for which the area of the triangle जो बनाएगी जब हमने ये join किया वो four आएगा ठीक है this is the value of k this is the part number one of this question number three or we will solve the part second of this. Now the part second is uh, part second is of question number three is um, negative two zero uh, zero four and zero k. ठीक है यहाँ पे भी हमने इस के का वैल्यू निकालना है गिवन ये है कि जब आप एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल निकालोगे जो बना होगा बाय जॉइनिंग दीज थ्री पॉइंट्स दैट्स फोर ठीक है सेम है ये स्टेटमेंट है इस क्वेश्चन का सो वी विल राइट डाउन द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ दिस वी नो दैट वी नो ओके वी नो एरिया of triangle formed by joining negative to zero zero four and zero comma k is is one half of and then it is negative two it is zero it is one then you have zero then you have four then you have one here and the last is zero k and one okay now which implies One half of negative two zero one zero four one zero k one is four. You know why? It is given. Okay. Now this thing is given. Now you will just multiply. This four by that two, so you will get, uh, which implies value of the determinant is negative two, zero, and uh, one, and then it is zero, four, one, zero, k, and one. That's equal to 
8. Okay, that's equal to 8. Now, expanding, you know it, we'll expand it along, Anji, along C1. C1 Q because uh, the number of zeros in C1 is maximum. That's 2. Okay? So you will get negative 2. I'll take this. This is omitted. This one is omitted. So you are left with 4, 1, K, and 1, which is equal to 8. Now, this implies, you can solve this. It is 4 minus k and uh, that side you will get minus 4 after dividing by this okay which implies negative k is negative 4 minus 4 that is k is or negative k is negative 8 which implies k is it only okay that's part second of question number three now let's move the question, question number four question number four question number four ki bhi ek do part hai thik hai Question number four uh, says that find equation of line joining uh, one comma two and three comma six using determinants. Okay, now you are supposed to find the equation of line joining uh, one comma two, three comma six, and you are supposed to use the determinants. Now, I will just write it here. Question four is and part first now I will only write the points firstly take uh, it is one comma two and three comma six we are supposed to find equation of line joining these two points I will just uh, try to you know make you understand this what is saying if I just take a point 1 comma 3 here and uh, 3 comma 6 here now I have to find the equation now you have you, you know uh, equation of line in two, uh, two point form that is y minus y1 equal to slope times x minus x1 you know that okay but here uh, we will find the equation of line joining this and this but we are supposed to you know use the concept of determinants determinants ko use karke humne kya bolte isko uh, line ka jo hai na line ki equation nikalni hai lekin determinants main kya karunga ki yahan pe ek point arbitrary point x y lunga theek hai phir that means uh, that uh, lies on this segment theek hai isko q bol do isko r bol do that means uh, these three points are collinear. Ab jo triangle ka area hoga, PQR ka, thik hai, wo kya aega? Determinant se, that will be zero. Bas wo cheez humne use karni hai, we will get an equation in terms of X and Y's. Okay, now let's do it. I will, in solution, I will directly write solution. Let P of X comma Y be any point on line segment joining one comma two and this I mean I three comma six 
then area of triangle formed by joining P that is this x y comma 3 6 and and 1 comma is 0 Okay, zero because now this P three comma six and one comma two they are collinear, right? Then this one half of I write x y one and then one two one three six one is equal to zero okay now which implies or multiplying two zero you will get x y one one two one three six and one is equal to zero okay now we will apply some operations to that determinant, right? Right, apply. What you're going to apply is uh, R one minus R two in R two and R one minus R three in R three. Okay, so when we apply this, we have uh, this thing will uh, come out X, Y, and one will remain as it is because. The row number first is not affected. Then you will write R1 minus R2, X minus 1, Y minus 2, and this is 0, 1 minus 1. 1 minus 1 by that operation is again 0 here. And then you have X minus 3 here. Then you have y minus 6 here. So value of this determinant is 0. Okay, now we can expand this, expanding. Along C3, we have 1 and this thing is omitted this one is omitted so you're left with x minus 1 x minus 3 y minus 2 y minus 6 that is 0 now you can just multiply these two quantities x1 into y minus 6 minus x minus 3 into y minus 2 that is 0 now multiply these two you will get x y minus 6 x minus y plus 6 and then minus Okay, x into y that's x y x into negative six that's negative six x minus y one into y that's minus y and then plus six. I'll multiply this. You'll get x y. Okay, 
and then you'll get negative 2x okay then you'll get negative 3y okay then you'll get plus 6 that is equal to 0 now we'll multiply uh, by this minus sign throughout so you'll get xy negative 6 negative minus y plus 6 minus xy plus 2x plus 3y and minus 6 that's equal to 0 now you can see this uh, this is positive and this is negative okay they will get neutralized this 6 and this will go okay now we have uh, minus y plus the 3y that is 2y okay and then we have minus 6x six six plus so we'll get minus 4x that is equal to 0 now you can write this as y equal to 2x after taking 2 common and then shifting this minus 2x to that side this this is the equation of the line uh, passing through this and this okay slope of this line is 2 so that's it that's part first of this question Let's move to the part second of this. Okay. Part second is uh, the points are uh, this time around uh, two points again. That is uh, three one and uh, now. अब की बार भी हमने क्या करना है कि लाइन की इक्वेशन निकालनी है जो इन दो पॉइंट से जा रही होगी ठीक है तो द एक्सप्लेनेशन विल रिमेन द सेम जैसे मैंने आपको अभी बोला कि हम कोई सा भी आर्बिट्री पॉइंट पी लेंगे उस लाइन सेगमेंट पे जो इन दो पॉइंट्स को आपस में जॉइन करती हो एंड देन फिर वो क्या बोलते हैं उसको कांसेप्ट यूज करेंगे डिटरमिनेंट्स का that uh, the uh, area of the triangle uh, you know formed by joining three collinear points is zero that will serve the cause okay so let's come to the solution of this we'll write let p of x y be any point point on you can say lying on that's on line segment joining <coughs> three comma one and Nine comma three. We know area of triangle formed by joining p 3 comma 1 and 9 comma 3 is 0 so you can just directly write one half of x y and 1 then you have 3 1 and 1 9 3 1 
is equal to zero. Now you will multiply this two with that zero, you will get determinant x, y, and one. Then you have three, one, and one. Then you have nine, three, and one. Okay, that's equal to zero. Okay, now, to find the equation, we will just find, uh, try to evaluate this determinant. Uh, we will not directly evaluate it. We will apply some elementary operations as we did in part first. We will apply R1 minus R2 in R2. Okay. done and and r1 minus r3 r1 minus r3 in r3 we get now after applying these operations what you will get is r1 minus r2 x minus 3 uh, that will be Firstly, we will write uh, a row number second as it is, x, y, and 1, because that uh, remains unaffected. Then, r1 minus r2, x minus 3, this is x minus 3, this is y minus 1 here, right, y minus 1, and then uh, this entry is 0. Then we will apply that r1 minus r3, that's x minus 9, then you will get y minus 3. And the last entry is 0. This is equal to 0. Okay. Now, so far it's pretty much easy. Now, expanding. Along C3 we have. Whatever one and this thing is omitted, this thing is omitted, that is x minus three, x minus nine, y minus one and y minus three is equal to zero. I'll just evaluate this determinant, it is x minus three, y minus three, minus x minus nine and y minus 1, that is 0, okay? Now, it is x, y, x into y is x, y, x into minus 3, that is minus 3x, minus 3 into this, that is minus 3y, minus 3, minus 3, that is plus 9, then it is like minus sign here, you will multiply these, x into y is x, y, and x into minus 1 is minus x, minus 9 into y is minus 9y, and minus 9 into minus 1 is plus 9. That is equal to 0. Okay. Now, what do you do You will multiply this whole quantity by uh, this minus 1. So, you will have xy minus 3x minus 3y plus 9 minus xy plus x plus 9y minus 9 that is equal to 0. Now you can see that uh, this xy is positive, this is negative, this 9 is positive, this is negative. Okay, so they will neutralize each other. Then we have minus 3y plus uh, 9y, so you will get 6y. Okay, minus 3x and x, that's minus 2x, that's equal to 0. Okay, now after solving this, you can write it as y is equal to 1 upon 3x. So this is the equation of line joining 3 comma 1 and 9 comma 3 slope of this line is 1 upon 3, that's it. That's question number four. Now the last question of this.
exercise is coming up. Okay. Last question. Uh, question number five. It, this one is last one. Okay. If uh, area of uh, triangle is 35 square units, it's given with vertices 2 comma minus 6, 5 comma 4, and k comma 4, then k is. Now you can see that this is same question, you know, as we have done in question number three. We are supposed to find the value of k here. Okay. So let's try to find. No, I will write the points on the board firstly. Now it's question number five. It's, a, it's an object to type, right? The points are given. Uh, one is two comma negative six. Another one is five comma four. And uh, the last one is k comma four. And the area of the triangle. Uh, Formed by joining these three points is 35 square units. Okay. There are four options given. Okay. We are supposed to find the correct one. Right. Uh, let's solve it. Solution. We know area of triangle formed by joining two comma minus six five comma four and k comma four is given by is given by one half of the determinant two negative six and one five four one and the last is k four one okay and this is the area of this triangle joining these three points which implies uh, one half of the determinant 2 negative 6 1 then 5 4 1 k 4 and 1 is equal to 35 it is given right they get a guy wants a key area to 35 square units so I've written this I will multiply uh, this 35 by this 2 uh, we'll get a determinant 2 uh, negative 6 1 5 4 1 1 4 and here it is k equal to 2 into 35 that is 70. यहां तक आ गए हमने k का वैल्यू निकालना है बात खत्म तो <coughs> या तो डायरेक्टली एक्सपेंड करोगे फिर k का वैल्यू निकालोगे या तो कोई ऑपरेशन यूज करोगे ठीक है अप्लाई मैं ऑपरेशंस यूज कर रहा हूं ठीक है अप्लाई r1 minus r2 in r2 ठीक है एंड R three minus R one in R three. So we have you can see that row number first is unaffected. R two and R three is affected. So we'll firstly write down the row first as it is. 
now r1 minus r2 r1 minus r2 you will get minus 3 r1 minus you will get minus 10 you will get 0 okay r3 minus r1 that is k minus 2 r3 minus r1 that is positive 10 okay and then this is 0 this is equal to 70 now expanding along you know it along along c3 as it contains maximum number of zeros that's two we have it's one and then it is k minus two and then ten equal to 70. Now oh, you are supposed to solve this. 10 into negative 3 that is 30 and then minus and minus will become plus 10 times k minus 2 is equal to 70. Now you can shift to that. It is 10 times k minus 2 equal to 70 plus 30. This negative will shift there it will become positive so it is 10 times k minus 2 equal to 100 okay i will write it here you can see that uh, it is 10 times k minus 2 is 100 you can divide this 100 by 10 so we will get k minus 2 equal to how much 10 or we will get k is equal to 12 so k is coming out to be 12 so option number one is correct right so option number one is correct that's it exercise 4.3